Hey, this is Dr. Sheikh from The Dentalist and from today we will start studying the science of dental materials together. A subject that many students find boring and hard to understand, whereas we here will try to make it as simple as possible so you could get good grades and strengthen your concepts. Now grab a pen and a paper if you want to and let's get started. Now remember for studying dental material sciences, we will be using this book as a reference. Let's start chapter one from this book today. It's called Science of Dental Materials. First things first, as per rule of science, we should know the definition of dental material sciences to get started. According to the definition, dental material sciences is the science that involves the study of composition and properties of the dental material and the way in which they interact with the environment they are placed in or the environment surrounding them. Imagine we want to fill a cavity on a patient's tooth. So we will first decide the material we want to fill the cavity with. To choose the filling material, we will go back to the composition and properties of the material to see if that material will do well in that particular situation. For example, if the cavity is on the occlusal surface of a molar, we would see if the material is capable enough to bear the occlusal stress that is uh, placed on the tooth. That means it should have that much strength to bear those forces. So this is just one property that I just use as an example. But when we evaluate a material, we evaluate it on the basis of its physical properties, chemical properties, thermal properties, and the list goes on. But don't worry, we will talk about all of those in detail. So if you remember the definition, along with the composition and properties, we also have to look for the environment that the dental material is placed in. So we would also like to see how the material behaves with the surrounding environment, right? Practically, if we talk about an impression material that is mixed outside the mouth and then is taken inside the mouth from the external environment to the internal environment, experiences dramatic atmospheric changes and it puts a huge impact on how the material would behave in this matter. Also, if we talk about a filling material, it has to stay there in the mouth surrounded with saliva, food particles, different chemicals and much more. So yeah, knowing how the material would behave in a certain environment is a huge deal. I hope by now you have a broader understanding of how crucial this subject is in the field of dentistry and that every dentist has to have a strong grip on the subject in order to take the right clinical decisions. So let's review the definition again and I want you to complete it along with me. Are you ready? Let's do this. So dental material science is the science that deals with the study of composition and properties of the dental material and the way in which they what the way in which they interact with the surrounding environment or the environment that they're placed in you can say either of this I'm giving you 20 seconds to repeat this definition right now in front of me. So I'll put 20 seconds on the clock and when I say start, you start. So your time starts now. Get ready to the countdown. Good job. Now I know you'll be able to tell the definition properly whenever asked by anyone. Will you? Oh yeah, you will. All right, I'll be giving you a heads up of what we'll be doing next in the end of every video so that you can read the topic beforehand. In the next video, we'll be talking about four important steps to select the dental material for your use. That's all for now, my friends. This is Dr. Mustafa Sheikh. Stay with us and take care till we meet again.